I'm Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. Welcome to this edition of your freight sales success training. After watching and applying it, you'll move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly and make more money financially. And if you have any questions, call me Ted Keyes at 626-309-9141. Today's topic comes from the front lines of my 30 plus years of business, sales, and freight moving success. Now enjoy watching, learning, and applying. Hello and welcome to my Tuesday conference call everybody. Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. High powered meeting I hold live every Tuesday for top producing new and struggling freight agents at 2 p.m. Pacific time and 5 p.m. Eastern time. On the call today, I will show you how to move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly so you make more money financially. And after the call, go to my website, tedkeysonline.com, to hear more of my podcasts, read more of my blog posts, watch more of my videos. And while you're there, visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products to truly explode your freight business today. When you arrive at my freight sales success store, you will see a host of products that are available. First one you'll see there is my freight sales success guide for beginner and struggling freight agents. I do, however, provide this for when you join our top producing freight sales office. Another product you'll see there is my Freight Sales Success Quotes. These quotes provide you with daily motivation to do what's important, to get on the phone and connect and build relationships with the marketplace. Third product you'll see there is my Freight Sales Success Training. This is a video course that'll take you literally from knowing little or nothing about freight to moving your first freight load and beyond. You'll also see there for sale again is my Freight Sales Success Skills. This product provides those intricate little skills that are required uh, to handle different situations that you come in contact with. However, my freight sales success skills along with my other products are available today for purchase in my freight sales success store. And while you're there at my, uh, at my store taking in all this free information on any, on any page on my website you happen to be on, just over to the right, uh, go over to the right and enter your contact details. By doing that, you'll receive your email invite to this in every call. Not only that, you'll receive the attachments that I provide on each and every call. And also, just as a freebie for getting uh, for opting in, you'll receive my free report. Again, it's just a free report. 11 ways freight agents will increase their income. Go through this uh, as a beginning struggling freight agent. This report will assist you in increasing your income. And just so you know, that report there has been downloaded thousands of times before. And if you have any questions, any questions whatsoever about what I went over today, or more importantly, more specifically, are you ready to join our top producing freight sales team, then give me Ted Keys a call. I'm at 626-309-9141. Today's training topic is a good one. It's called Prospects That Grow Your Freight Business. Prospects That Grow Your Freight Business. So for those of you that are on my Gmail contact list and you receive that email invite today, just go to that email or any one of those emails Scroll to, go down to the bottom if you haven't done already. Print out those attachments because we're going to go over those attachments that I provided one by one. Again, my topic is prospects that grow your freight business. Prospects that grow your freight business. 
Just like in any other sales profession, there is a process that you go to as you connect and build relationships with the marketplace. When you first start out, there are prospects that are at this level. As you get better and better, the prospects are then at that level. As you get better after that, they're at, at, at this level. And then as you truly get you know, wonderful and great at this profession, you get these prospects way up here. Not only are they easy to get, but they are the most profitable. Regardless of that, everything that you do is a process. And again, you only see it as you go through it. You can't just look at, uh, look at this document that I provide and say, oh yeah, I understand that. You only understand it as you go through the process of dealing with more and more and more prospects. So go ahead and open that first attachment and let's go over prospects that grow your freight business. Now, as I said, this is a process, okay? It's a process that you go through, okay? And then there's a process that you'll see, as I'll explain at the end, about, again, going through this process of these uh, acquiring these prospects. But what I'm going to do is talk uh, to, today, I'm going to talk about four types of prospects, four types of prospects. The first prospect as a beginner or struggling freight agent, or let's just, let me just say a beginning freight agent, the first type of prospect that you're going to make a connection with they're, they're just, they're, they're standard attention getters, okay? The, these are the, uh, the, the prospects of the industry that uh, like do lumber, for example. They, they do these general commodities or they only move a couple loads a week or a couple loads a month. Uh, they're, they're generally easy to get a hold of. They're typically easy to get on their freight list. Here's the downside. So many other, uh, you know, so many others are on uh, their lists as well. Uh, the, these are these are your beginner prospects, okay? Uh, and again, it's all about getting attention. So even these beginner prospect, these prospects that you're getting, you still have to reach out and get their attention. Now, again, it's not that difficult to get their attention because they move these standard commodities. The loads that they do are pretty much based on price. However, there are some of them that you can really develop a, a good relationship with. And, you know, when they see their value, they'll typically go to you, you know, let's say 75, 80% of the time. But again, they're, they're just general, uh, they're general prospects. They're general individuals that you, you know, that you can reach out and it's relatively easy to get a hold of them and get on their freight list. That's the first type of prospect that you'll go through. The second type of prospect, and again, remember, this is a process. After a while, you're going to say to yourself, you know what, I'm dealing with lumber. I'm, de I'm done dealing with steel. I'm done dealing with wood. I'm done dealing with brick. What else is out there? What else is out there? You know, what other types of businesses are out there? Because I've gained this initial, uh, the, this, this initial information and these initial skills. Uh, you know, I'm tired of being on the same freight list with a hundred other uh, freight agents. What else is out there? Well, these are prospects that are called criticizers. They're called criticizers. They, they, you don't just come in and get on their list. It takes a little more effort. Now, what do I mean by criticizer? Well, you call them and they'll say, you know, hey, I never heard of your, your business before or I dealt with your business before and I had a terrible time at it. They'll, they'll give you these little critiques or they'll actually criticize you, your company, okay, or something that happened in the past. Now, hey, they may even criticize you. I, I don't like the way how you sound. I, I don't like, you know, uh, you know, the name of your company. They're, they're these little critiques that you'll get, okay, that that uh, that they'll give you just as a just as the means of resisting you coming in. Now, do they have uh, you know better paying freight? High probability that they do. But I'll say this: as you as you uh, contact more individuals that have better paying freight, you know that that are these big corporations, it will be more challenging than you when you get in there. Uh, cr cr uh, 
here's another critique. You know, how many, uh, uh, how many trucks do you have in your fleet? Okay. Who are you currently dealing with? You know, so that I know that you've got experience. So there are these little critic, th these little, uh, criticisms that you'll get that you have to overcome. Okay. And again, this is not a profession where you just say, Oh, okay. Let me, you know, uh, let me just roll over for you. You've got to stand up to these individuals, these, these individuals that are criticizing you. Okay. So the first type of prospect is just a, a general attention getter. The second type of uh, prospect are the criticizers. Okay. Now let's say that you've gone through your criticizers and you're ready to go to the next step. Okay. And I will say this, I'm going to give you some examples of me personally, what it's been like for me as a freight agent, and also as a freight trainer. Okay. Uh, as a freight trainer, the, the individuals that come to me that are so easy to get on my team, yet the, the failure rate is so high are those that say, Hey, Ted, I am ready to do this. I've been thinking about doing this for 10 years. I am ready to do this. And what happens? They peter out. They just peter out. Okay. That's an example of a, a you know, a, a, a general attention getter on my part. Criticizer. Hey, I'll contact them and uh, they're already, uh, they're already a freight agent with somebody else. Uh, here's another example. You know, Hey, I've seen your videos and I didn't learn anything. You know, that's a, that's a criticizer from a training aspect. Okay. The third type of prospect, okay. From the freight side, from a freight agent side is what's called a hater. I mean, these people, they, they hate you. Uh, let me give you an example as a freight agent, they dealt with uh, your freight company before and they just had a terrible experience or Hey, uh, you know, whoever they dealt with in the past attempted to cheat them out of money. You know, they, they agreed on a rate, uh, the agent in the past uh, attempted to in, you know, improve the rate. So because of that, they want nothing to do with you. That's basically a hater. Okay. Hey, I want nothing to do with you guys. I dealt with you in the past. Don't call me again. So what do you do? Do you, you know, coil back in your corner and say, Oh boy, gee, I just, uh, you know, I just came across this guy and, uh, you know, he wants nothing to do with me. No, realize that you will deal with people that generally don't either like you or your company. Okay. There are these huge brokers that are out there in our marketplace. Let me give you an example. CH Robinson, TQL. These folks are the biggest brokers in the industry because of that, they get the most criticism. I mean, they're regarded as cheap brokers. Now, I'm not saying that. Okay. It's just that that's the criticisms that they get. And again, as you get bigger and bigger, you're going to get more criticisms and you will have haters because the more popular you get, the better and better that you get, you know, you're up there in an elite group. Well, when you're up there in an elite group, you've got all these people uh, below you that didn't do what you did. Okay. They didn't put in the work. So what do they do? They criticize and they hate you. Okay. That's just how our society works. Think about actors and actresses. They, they get to a point where, you know, you see them in a couple movies and then they're in all the movies. And then that's where the media and everybody else starts coming down on them. This is no different. The better you get, the more criticism and the more haters you're going to have. Okay. And again, hating being hated, either you, or your company is not a bad thing. In reality, it's a good thing. Why is it a good thing? Because it shows where you are in the freight sales agent realm. It, 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 it's actually a good thing. So if you have haters, embrace it. No, truly embrace it. That means that you are approaching the top of your field. So first type of prospect, general attention getter, standard commodities. Second type of prospect are the criticizers. Okay. They're, they're, they're more resistant. The third type of prospect are the haters. Initially they want nothing to do with you. And again, you have to go through this process of building a relationship with them as well. Again, haters could be these large multi-billion dollar corporations. You know, they, in their mind, they're just 
flicking you away like a flea when you're calling them. They're like, get out of here. I, I never heard of you. I mean, I am totally comfortable here with, with the people that I deal with. Yeah, you know, get, you know like, like they're brushing you off their desk. That could, that could be considered a hater. What do you do? You pursue them just like you did with the general attention getters when you start in the industry. Because hey, as I keep saying it myself, as I keep repeating, 80% of your sales will come between your fifth and your 12th contact. While dealing with a hater, it's no different. Let me give you an example of a hater from my, uh, from my side as being a trainer. Uh, on Facebook once, uh, somebody, posted, uh, somebody posted saying, you know, what can I do to get better at my profession? Now, that you, they, they didn't say it in those words, but basically, can somebody give me some help out there? Because I, I'm just not having any success as a, as a freight broker or it could have been a freight agent. Well, I responded by saying, go to my freight sales success store and purchase my freight sales success guide. Okay, that was my advice to her. Sound advice. You're looking, you're looking for advice. Here's the advice I have to give to you. Well, trust me, by the end of the day, there are all these comments really directed toward me saying, you know, who are you for one thing? You know, another thing is don't, don't buy that. That, that's, you know, that's a scam. Okay. Why? Because they've seen me before. I, uh, I truly pound social media every day. I, I mean, um, the, the, the three in particular, I really, uh, I mean, I, the new, my news feeds, I am pounding them daily. Uh, I mean, a minimum of 20 postings on, on every one. So a lot of these individuals that responded to what I said, hey, they see me on social media. That's an example of a hater. Now, what did I do? Did I, did I coil back in my corner and, you know, say, oh boy, nobody likes me? No, I took that as, hey, I'm getting attention. I am becoming the celebrity and am the celebrity in my space. That's a good thing. Whether she bought my guide or not, well, she didn't uh, because she was swayed by the populace that basically said, you know, what are you doing? And that's what the populace does. The populace does not want to see you succeed. And when I talk about the populace, I'm talking about 80% of the population that's out there. They don't want to see you succeed. So when you have haters, that's a good thing. Fourth type of prospect that you will witness out there as you get better and better at your profession, this is the best group that you can find, the best group that you can be in, and those are the admirers. People that see what you've gone through Okay, I, again, this could be a hater, uh, a, a, you know, a, a prospect that attempted to flick you away three months ago, but now you've gone through the process, okay, of reconnecting and reconnecting, showing, you show them that you are determined, that you're persistent, that you will do what it takes to get their business. That's when you have admirers, people that actually admire you for the work that you've gone through. And hey, let's face it, you can't help but admire somebody that's gone through the process, that's actually started here and ended up here. I mean, this is beyond the hater group where individuals actually admire you for what you've gone through. My admirers, my admirers are folks that call me and say, Ted, I have been watching your videos now on YouTube for three months. Uh, I, I just want to thank you so much for the information that you've shared with me. Do they join my group? No, but I'll say, hey, if you don't want to join me, please refer me who you have. These are admirers. Admi being an admirer is the top level of your prospects that you can get to. So that is the group that you, uh, that your goal is to be in, admirers. Not only that, when people admire you, they want to work with you, okay? Their, you know, price is not an issue. Negotiations are less. That is the group to be in. So four different types of prospects, attention getter, criticizer, hater, and admirer. Remember, this is all a prospect. You can't start in this profession as, uh, you know, going after wood, uh, you know, wood, brick, uh, and, uh, and steel and end up a week later in, in, in the admirer. This is all a process 
that you have to go through. And let me finish this. Let me finish this with a final word, okay? Remember, becoming successful in freight sales is all about getting at the attention of the marketplace. You will not grow your business if you don't get the attention of the marketplace. And you have to go through these processes, through these prospects to get attention in the marketplace. Main point here, and that is, if nobody hates you, if nobody hates you, nobody knows you. If nobody hates you, nobody knows you. When you get haters, what does that mean? It means that individuals in the marketplace know you. If nobody hates you, nobody knows you. When people do know you, you're gonna have haters. I would rather have people know me and hate me than have no haters and not and having nobody know me. Great topic for today. Again, prospects that grow your freight business. Remember this, okay? Remember this when you get these individuals that, that, that send you these criticisms, that say, don't ever call me again. I, I want nothing to do with you or your business or your company. When you're at that level, that is a good thing. Remember that. In concluding my call, do you have any questions about what I just went over today? Any questions, regardless of what it is, or more importantly, more specifically, are you ready to join our top producing freight sales team? Yes? Give me a call, Ted Keys. I'm at 626-309-9141.